again and welcome to another episode of I Want to Talk About This Album. Today is Kiss, Lick It Up. Yes, I'm going back to Kiss. It's been a couple of weeks, I think, since I've done Kiss. And I do have, I think I'm running low on Kiss. I've only got two more, maybe three more to go before my, my Kiss supply is, uh, it, it will be uh, extinguished. There are a couple more that I need. Maybe I can get those at some point, but it will be Lick It Up. And, uh, but before I get to lick it up, I will, I will give you a couple of reminders and a little bit of a, a preview of something that's going to happen coming up on I Want to Talk About This Album. Uh, reminder, you know what it is, that the live stream I mentioned in the last two videos, it was going to be on Monday, January 22nd. That's going to be changed to Tuesday, January 23rd. The reason is I was supposed to go hiking on Monday, January 15th, and it was going to be a really long hike probably 12 or 13 hour a day, 14 hour a day, I'm not sure. Um, but that got that got canned. So that hike is gonna be on January 22nd. And I'm not sure if I'd be home enough, home in time enough to um, to do that live stream. So I, I moved it a day uh, a day ahead to, uh, to Tuesday, January 23rd. That's gonna be eight o'clock Mexico time, which is nine o'clock in the east of the United States or uh, six o'clock Pacific coast. Uh, for Damien, who lives in Australia, I don't know what the fuck time it is. That's a, I think that's that's probably in like March or something. Uh, you know, with the time zone difference between here and Australia, wherever you live in the world, please figure it out yourself. So that'll be on uh, January twenty third, which is kind of a little bit of a, I think they call it a precursor, right, to El Chopo. I'll be going to El Chopo on January twenty seventh. So you can you can uh, we can talk about El Chopo during the live stream. Give me your requests. If you can't make the live stream or anything you want from El Chopo, you can, uh, I, I rarely solicit comments, but uh, you, you, can, you can leave a comment if there's anything you'd like to see at El Chopo and I will do my best to accommodate your request, all right? Now, the other thing is, I'm gonna have a very special guest on, I think at this point it will be the, no, for sure it will be the next, unless there's some technical difficulties or something weird comes up. I'm gonna have a special guest in the next episode. For the first time, it's gonna be a guest. It's gonna be a band member from the album that I will be talking about. You can, um, there's no way you can guess that. They've been in a little bit of the news, the metal news lately, a lot of controversy in this band. And um, I don't know if I'll talk about that uh, with, with my guest, but we'll definitely talk about the album on which he plays. It's, it's one of my, Maybe it could be possibly in my top 10 albums ever, um, but I'm going to talk about him, that with him. I think that'll be, that'll be maybe on uh, Monday the 22nd or, or Tuesday the 23rd. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be doing that episode later this week. Um, I'm not sure even when this episode is going to be in, is going to be on, so this might be all screwed up. But I think maybe watch that on January 22nd or January, January 23rd with my special guests. All right. So now that that is out of the way, I can talk about L-I-U. That stands for Lick It Up. And uh, I've got it here. I'm going to go through this track by track, as you may already know. But before I do, I'll talk about the album in general. And then when I, when I did the official KISS album rankings a uh, year and a half ago, two years ago, um, now I don't remember, but I, I did look in my notes. And I saw that I had this ranked at number nine out of, uh, I think, 24, if you, if you count the 1978 albums. Um, I had a number nine, and, and probably I still hold, uh, hold true to that. The first six were ahead of this, and Gene's and Ace's 1978 albums were, uh, were on there too, and this was nine. So it's obviously, as you may have figured out, it's my favorite non, I would never say non-makeup era. That's stupid, because that implies that the makeup had something to do with how much you like the record. But uh, it's my favorite non-original lineup album for sure, and it's it's the last Kiss album that I loved every song on. I think every song on this album is excellent. Um, Revenge was pretty close. Re Revenge had some amazing songs, a couple that were so-so, but but Lick It Up was ten out of ten. The, the songs are fantastic on this album. Um, my my um my my kind of history with this record. Now this one this came out in 1983, of course. And I had not bought, I had been, you maybe know this, I'd been a KISS fan since 1976. And I, I bought, you know, or I don't know if I bought because I was a little kid. I probably had them given to me or whatever. 
Um, but I had, you know, uh, Destroy Rock and Roll Over Love Gun, Alive, Destroy Rock and Roll Over Love Gun, um, uh, Dynasty, Unmasked, and then I didn't buy The Elder. I think even back then when I was 11 years old, I was smart enough, I was probably a pretty dumb kid, but at least I was smart enough to know that The Elder sucked, and I didn't buy, I also didn't buy um, Creatures of the Night, but I did buy Lick It Up, or I got Lick It Up, and I was very, very happy. Kiss, you know, they had been out of my life for a couple of albums, and I was very happy to have Lick It Up and uh, have Kiss back in my life. And this album, I, I loved it then. I love it now. I listened to it earlier today to kind of, uh, you know, remind myself or just for some inspiration. And I love it. As I said, every song on this is great. It's it's five Gene songs. It's very well balanced. Five Gene, five Paul. There, there's no ballads. It's, um, you know, they're all, they're all rock songs. And it's just a really, really good album. Uh, at this point, obviously, Eric Carr. This was his third album with him. Vinnie Vincent's, ah, let's say his first album. I know I know with Creatures of the Night, he, he played on that. But uh, this was his first, first official Kiss album. And it's a really good, I think, a really good Kiss album. And, of course, it was their first album, at least visually, with no makeup. Uh, and, you know, when I was a kid, I'm sure everybody, as I said, I was kind of stupid, probably as kids tend to be. Um, you know, when I was a kid, I, I thought that when they recorded their albums, they were wearing their makeup and costumes and everything. Um, I don't know. So so this is their first album without makeup, at least, as I said, visually on the cover. And I don't know if that changed things or, or the way that we looked at them. I don't mean literally looked at them, but the way that we perceived their music, we being Kiss fans. And... And I do remember, I have very, I think, vivid memories of, of hearing and seeing, as far as I can remember, the first time I heard Lick It Up, the song, the title track was when I saw the video for it. Now, I definitely did not see, you know when Kiss had the big unmasking on MTV with, um, ah, what's that guy's name? Not, uh, not Jesse Jackson, not Michael Jackson, um, not Reggie Jackson. I, I can't remember the guy's name, but the, the, the MTV VJ, um, you know, everybody's seen it now, but I definitely did not see that at the time. But I did see the video for Lick It Up. If I if I remember correctly, it was like a world or a Canadian premiere. So it was when this when, when this album was new. It was on, I don't know if it was on Toronto Rocks or Much Music, one of these video channels. And I'm sure I remember, I was at my friend's house, a guy called, and I've mentioned him before, Joe Hutchinson. I was friends with both Joe and Rob Hutchinson, who were brothers. And I'm, I'm, I used to go over to their house and listen to music and, and watch videos and things like that in 83, 84. And I remember, from what I remember, the first time I heard this song was the, was the video for Lick It Up. And it was so cool seeing, and I knew that, that they didn't have any makeup. And you know, if you remember in the video, they show like a knee, uh, knee down video of them, of them walking you know, down the street before the chorus comes in. And then when the chorus comes in, Lick It Up. It shows the full body and Gene is kind of skulking like this. You know, he's kind of walking towards the camera like this. And then he's wearing, I think it's like a pink shirt or a purple shirt or something. And Paul is snapping his fingers and singing, walking down the street. And I think Paul was wearing leopard skin boots. And I don't know if I had seen Vinnie Vincent at that point. Uh, maybe not, but uh, I guess I had seen Eric Carr and I, I loved it right from the start. I loved Lick It Up. I'll get to the song Lick It Up uh, when I do a track by track shortly. But right from the start, I thought, yes, Kiss is back in my life after a two album absence. So I was, uh, I was very, very happy about that. And, uh, and you know, another, we have weird memories of things. Something that I have no business remembering. That, that was in um, 1983. Now, I guess around that time, this, this must have been in, uh, no, this must have been later. They, they played in Toronto on the Lick It Up tour in March 1984. I think the album came out around September. It seems that all the Kiss albums in the 80s came out in September. And so I think Lick It Up came out in September 1984 and, sorry, 83. And then Kiss played Toronto at Maple Leaf Gardens in March 1984. And then in school, there, there was a guy, he was called uh, Kirk Heffron. I don't know why I remember this guy's name. I, I knew him just for those few months that we were in grade eight together. He went to see the, the, the Lick It Up tour at uh, Maple Leaf Gardens. I remember he had the shirt. It was this exact same shirt, but it was one of these they called a raglan, right? It was, you know, the, the white shirt with the black three-quarter length sleeves. 
and he had the uh, he had gone to the concert. He bought the shirt at the concert, and I was just in awe of this guy. He was in my class, Kirk Heffern. He ended up moving to Pittsburgh. I don't know why I have that, why I remember that, but um, I was friends with him very very briefly in grade eight, and I was just so in awe of this guy, this kid. I guess he was thirteen or fourteen that that he went to see Kiss on the Lick It Up tour. So that's that's another memory I have, and then a, and just one other quick memory I have of that. Another guy I knew uh, that I was friends with in that same school, this was grade eight, this guy called Bob, La Bob Lopson. Um, and it was his, his birthday, I guess, sometime in late 83 or early 84, I don't know. And um, so he had like, you know, he used to have these birthday parties, right? When you're a kid and all the kids, even at that age, would come together. And he had a birthday party and he was playing, or somebody was playing at that birthday party, playing the Lick It Up album. And as far as I could, that must have been late 83, because I didn't have the album at that point, I think. And I just remember hearing uh, All Hell's Breaking Loose and thinking, oh my God, this is, forget about, uh, you know, Detroit Rock City and, and um, you know, I Stole Your Love and Hotter Than Hell and everything. All Hell's Breaking Loose for me at that point and, and at some point in 1983 was just the greatest Kiss song. And I'll talk about that a little bit more when I do the, uh, the track by track, which will probably be any second now. So those are a couple of memories I have tied to um, to lick it up. All right, I think that's enough. I will get to the track by track now, and I'll open it up. This is as all of the Kiss records are. It's got the uh, the hype sticker here. Um, they're they're letting me know that I'm an audiophile. It says 180 gram audiophile vinyl, uh, first U.S. vinyl pressing since 1985 editions. All the Kiss records that I've got say that. It's a very sparse album. I guess they were saying, you know, at least the, the cover, they were saying, hey, um, here we are. We, we took off our makeup and this is what we look like. And the back is, is very, very simple. That's it. All right. Uh, I'll open this up now. And now I do remember this. It, it did definitely, it had the lyrics. There, I don't think there's anything extra in this. No, no uh, posters or... I don't think any pictures yet. I think the, the inside sleeve is just white with with the lyrics in black. Uh, side one on one side and side two on the other side. Nothing else. I guess just some some credits, some liner notes. Ah, now something. This this was produced by, uh, speaking of Jackson's, I mentioned earlier, the, the guy from MTV whose name I still can't remember. Um, this was produced by Michael James Jackson. And according to Gene... He, he gave him that James middle name to, to avoid confusion with the other Michael Jackson. Uh, Michael, J Michael James Jackson produces, which is kind of a little bit coincidental because the last episode I did of, I want to talk about this album was Armored Saint, March the Saint. Uh, and I don't think I mentioned in that video, but it was also produced by Michael James Jackson. I know a lot of people they like, and I know who produced, God, probably most of the albums I, I have that I've had in my life, I know who produced them. I don't think producers do as much as we give them credit for. You think, oh, I love this album, so I love the producer. Or this guy produced the, the record, so I, and I love his previous work, so I'm going to love this album. But um, anyway, yeah, it was produced by, uh, by co-produced, I guess, by, and I probably didn't explain that very well, by Michael James Jackson, Gene Simmons, and Paul Stanley. All right, so I will uh, take this up, take this off, and lick it up. Uh, there it is. All right. And yes, exactly how I remember it. All right. And the record, I'm sure it just has the, the Mercury logo. I think at this point they were done with uh, Casablanca, just probably the black Mercury logo. The label is, is black with the, the Mercury logo is in like red. Yeah, exactly what I thought it was. Yep. All right. Um, so going through this track by track now, the first track is uh, Exciter. Oh, deep in the night I am waiting. Sent from above, power of love in my hands. In my hand, and I, and I know what you want, I know what you need. And I know what you feel. Lose all your fears, live all your dreams. I'm the one who's gonna make it real. Passion and fire, lust and desire. Exciter, yes, Kiss or Paul Stanley committed the cardinal sin of rhyming fire with desire. Uh, Passion and fire, lust and desire, exciter. Pleasure and pain, this is my name, exciter. Or pleasure and pain, whisper my name, exciter. Down, down, down. Surrender to me and I guarantee you'll pray that the night never ends. Come play the game, this is my name, exciter. 
Amazing song. I love this song. Um, next is, is Not For The Innocent. I'm mean and I'm dirty like none you've ever seen. Bad habits drip like honey. No tongue can lick me clean. Habitual threat. Uh, I'm not of royal blood. I've never been discreet. Better lock up your daughters. We're coming to your town. We're here for the slaughter. Kick you when you're down. We're not for the innocent. This is a great, this is maybe the last, and maybe this is why I like this album so much. This is a classic Gene album. Gene's fingerprints and uh, attitude and spirit is all over this record. His songs are really, really great. Um, kind of vicious lyrically. Um, to me, this is a real, this is one of Gene's great albums of, of this era for sure, by far. Destroys Asylum and uh, Animalize and God, for sure, Crazy Nights and Hot in the Shade. And it goes without saying, uh, The Elder and, you know. Um, but Gene was great on sound. I've been damned, I've been cursed, I've been guilty and abused. I spit the hangman in his face and hung him with his noose. Gonna tan your hide, rip the flesh off your bone. Look me in the eye and you're gonna turn to stone. A little Medusa uh, reference there. Uh, amazing song. Next is Lick It Up. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I worshiped this song when it came out. I still like it. I, maybe I, I, I think a lot of Kiss fans maybe don't like this song. You know, I think it's a pretty simple song. Uh, you know, I think it's been in their set for pretty much their whole career since it came out in 1983, except for the reunion tour. Maybe Psycho Circus era wasn't in. Um, and yeah, maybe I'm a little bit tired of it, but I can't deny that I, I love Lick It Up. I'm, I'm, I, I can't say I'm a big uh, proponent of Lick It Up, but I, I, have, I have good memories related to Lick It Up. Um, can't say anything bad about it. Next is uh, Young and Wasted, like a fly to a spider, you're under the spell. It's a game in the liar for those who told a bell. You're more than just a name, you fight for the right. Like a moth to a flame, you see the bait you bite. You're restless and wild and walking the line, you're not just another pretty face. Need an, uh, need an answer fast and you're running out of time and the night goes on for days. Um, you've been branded by the iron, you've been cut by the knife. There's a monkey on your back running up and down your spine, up and down your spine. Uh, you hunger for the fire and fight for the right. Fight and run with the pack, but you know damn well there ain't no turning back. And this one, Eric Carr sang this um, on, you know, there's the Animalize home video from a year or two later. Uh, and when they did it live, Eric Carr sang Young and Wasted. You're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. You laugh in the face of the fates. Fallen angels spread their wings as you cross the gates of hate. What a vocal from Gene on that. What a great, great scream on that. He, he's really, really strong. And what's the song on here? There's, there's one song that has a great, great, I'll probably forget what it is when I, this is maybe why I should take notes. He's got a great, long, extended scream. Um... Maybe it's that one. Anyway, next is, uh, this would this would be the, the last song on side one, is Gimme, Gimme More, another great song. This is five out of five amazing songs so far. Live Wire, On the Loose, White Fire, Gotta Move, Hot Blood, Need Your Love, Hot As Rock, Hot As Rock, Can't Get Enough, Wanna Feel You Deep Inside, Pumping Through My Veins, Feel You, Feel You To The Core, let me take you through the night, heaven knows no pain. Open up the door, give me more. I love that song, give me more is great. It's got a, it's kind of a fast up tempo, um, just a really, really good riff. And all these songs, there were no outside writers. This are all Gene, uh, Paul, and Vinnie Vincent. Some people would say Vinnie Vincent rescued Kiss or saved Kiss. Um, I'm not sure about that, but uh, come on baby, take it slow. Come on baby, take it slow. Touch my body, take it slow, come on baby, make... Touch my body, take it slow, come on, make my juices flow. Feeling good, any price. Ooh, nothing I won't sacrifice. Great song, d despite what I just demonstrated. Um, and then uh, side two, man, I really like this album a lot. Is All Hell's Breaking Loose. As I mentioned earlier, this is... Um, God, I... I I thought this was the greatest thing ever when I heard this. Um, street hustler comes up to me one day and I'm walking down the street minding my own business. 
Now he looks me up and he looks me down and he says, hey man, what be this and what be that? And why you gotta look like that? Well, I just looked at him and I kind of laughed and I said, hey man, I am cool, I am the breeze. Classic Paul Stanley attitude. Um, I could not get enough of that song when I first heard it. And I still, when I listened to it today, I still was really, really into it. Um, now we ain't always winners, but this is the life we choose. And we can change or rearrange, but we ain't ever, ever gonna lose. It ain't always easy when the going gets rough. When you're getting even, you gotta stretch your stuff. Talking about it now, or tell me about it now, something like that. Take a look around, only one solution. Set the world on fire. Fight the institution. Gonna stand our ground, feel the new sensation. Something's going down. Rock the nation. Love that song. I, and I know um, only recently, I think it was about a month ago, around Christmas, I saw, came across, a, I didn't know they had ever played this song live, but they played it in Quebec City. Quebecois, they played it for the Quebecois in, uh, on this tour in 19, I guess it was probably maybe the day before they played in Toronto, so probably March 84. I can't imagine they played it more than a handful of times. Um, next is a million to one. I've heard some people refer to this as a ballad. I'm not sure why. Maybe lyrically, it's a little bit of a, you know, uh, especially compared to the other songs of this album, a little bit more, you know, lovey-dovey romantic, but musically, there's no way this is a ballad. Maybe... Paul Stanley's best vocal is uh, is a million to one. Listen to your heart, girl. Oh, oh, not just that part. And again, disregard my vocal and and only only uh, focus on Paul Stanley's vocal. Um, baby, baby, now that you've made up your mind, I'm gonna let you go. If that's what it takes to show love is blind, I gave you the best love you ever had. I gave you the best love. I gave you the best love you ever had, but it wasn't enough. So, so if you think you're so smart, go and play with your heart. When you walk out the door, you'll realize what you never did before, a million to one. Um, that's what it will be, a million to one. There's someone better than me, a million to one. That's what it will... No, you, yeah, you, you never will find a better love than mine. Another love like mine. Yeah, we chose our side. I'm not going to sing the lyrics. Yeah, we chose our sides and have been misunderstood. But every time I try to open your eyes, I'm damned and I'm no good. Uh, all these songs are fucking awesome. Uh, next is Feel Like, Feel like a Glove. In a cardinal sin, baby, let me in. Girl, I'm going to treat you right. Well, goodness sakes, my snake's alive and it's ready to bite. Hornet's, let, hornet's nest, lay me down to rest. Ooh, I want to shed my skin. I got the urge to merge. You're as cold as ice. Baby, won't you let me in? Night scenes, wet dreams, enough to make you drool. And fire, fire, fire for the fuel. Don't like to dress, talk too good, but I found my queen. Not too clean, know what I like if you know what I mean. Baby, baby, guess you win the prize, maybe, baby. Where the sun never shines. Yeah, and it must be love. Uh, and this has got the great, um, uh, feel, the, feel the heat, driver's seat, my blessing is my curse. I think I'm going to burst, I'm going to burst, I'm going to burst. And this has the great, uh, I'm getting very excited talking about this album. Because um, when I go through her, it's just like a, a hot knife through butter. Ooh, love it, fits like a glove. Oh! Uh, a couple more here. Ha, two more. Ha. Dance all over your face. Um, God, this song, this album is really, really good. Um, oh, Gene especially. Paul too. Fuck it. Oh, they're both. They're both great. Um, a lot of Gene attitude on this. I think maybe with with different timing, th this could have been a really you know classic Gene song that you know like uh, God of Thunder. Uh, unholy, I love it loud. Some of these songs could have become Gene, could have become Gene signature songs. Baby, I know it's a jungle out there. If you can play it cool, I can play it debonair. You were warm, but there was an inner ice. And baby, there's trouble in paradise. Uh, well, I found the lipstick stain of your kiss. Well, you can sink your teeth into this, bitch. I'm gonna dance, dance all over your face. 
Um, hey baby, can you pass this quiz? Well, just put your money where your mouth is. You're as sharp as a slap from a lover's hand. Hey baby, 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 this is all I can't stand. You played your hand and now you lose. Well, listen, bitch, I got news. Yes, I saw you with another man and you, and you put me in disgrace. Is that what it is? Yeah, you put me in disgrace. No cheap perf Ah, the other vocal. Ah, I did remember it. Um, no cheap perfume can change my mind. No satin and lace. I think that's what I was thinking of. The gene holds that note. Now, nah, there's there's something else. That, that's not the one, but that's great. Uh, no, cheap, no cheap perfume can change my mind. No satin and lace. Love that. Um, Gene, I think it had been some time before Gene really sounded as good as he did on this album. As far as I'm concerned, which, you know, my opinion is really official. Uh, and then the last song is, ha, on the eighth day, the sky has fallen and the wheels of life are grinding on a brand new beat. The streets are burning with the call of the wild and I can feel the heat. They'll call you names and spit in your face. Uh, but legends never die. Just pick up your guitar on your knees and pray. Uh, and hold your head up high. Uh, out of the ashes came the dawn and the shape of things to come. Never surrender, just carry on. Straight to kingdom come. You sold your soul and virginity. You can't rape a heart of gold. Born, yes, you're born to rule. It's destiny and now it can be told. Great, great, great song. Oh, a great album. Uh, and that's it, maybe thankfully. Um, and let me see, just all of these songs were written by Exciter, Paul Stanley, Vinnie Vincent. Not for the Innocent, Gene Simmons, Vinnie Vincent. Lick It Up, Paul Stanley, Vinnie Vincent. Young and Wasted, Gene and Vinnie. Give me more, Paul and Vinnie. Uh, all Hell's Breaking Loose was all four of them. Uh, Eric, Paul, Gene, and Vinnie. Million to One, Paul and Vinnie. Fits Like a Glove is only Gene. Dance All Over Your Face is only Gene. And, and On the Eighth Day is uh, Gene and Vinnie. Gene, the last three songs are Gene songs. Um, yeah, wooden album. And I, I know, I, I think a lot of fans, KISS fans, and we're a special breed, I think KISS fans consider this kind of a companion piece to, um, to Creatures of the Night. Because, they, you know, they, they do sound quite similar, similar style. Uh, I, I can definitely see the comparison. I like this way, way more. Obviously, you know, I'm saying that I had this ranked uh, at number nine, only the first six, and Gene and Ace's soul albums were better. But I, I, and I was never into Creatures of the Night that much, but uh, Lick It Up, I'm definitely, as I may have demonstrated, I'm really, really into this album. It's a fantastic album. Um, yeah, that's it. So there you go. Uh, so again, live stream coming up, El Chopo coming up. Until then, this is Kiss, and this is a classic as far as I'm concerned, Kiss album. And this is called Lick It Up! <laughs> 